Everyone, welcome to the show. So it was just revealed this week that the authorities have seized an election server in a rural Georgia county. And this is tied to the story that I just shared with you guys a couple days ago about how Cyber Ninja's founder, Doug Logan, is still being investigated for his part in the breach of voting equipment in Coffee County, Georgia. My, actually, I think it was yesterday. <laughs> this week has seemed so long. I think it was yesterday I shared that story. Anyway, Logan, as I mentioned, was granted access to a county office by Republican officials, and he says he never physically touched anything. Logan claims he directed one of those county officials, and then she took the alleged illegal actions. That official's name is Misty Hampton. At the time of the Coffee County breach, Hampton was the Coffee County election director. Well, the news broke of the breach that started to get out, and Hampton was forced to resign. Well, she didn't stay unemployed too long. She found another job almost immediately, running a special election for a nearby county. I think it's pronounced Trutland County. Um, so officials from this Trutland County Election Office say they weren't aware of Hampton's involvement in the, the Coffee County breach when she was hired. This concerned Georgia officials so much that the Georgia Secretary of State's office reportedly seized a, an election server in that county, in this new Trutland County, in April of this year. And a city commissioner, a woman named Olivia Coley Pearson, she said, quote, we don't know how far spread this might really reach. This was a disservice to the residents of Trutland County, and I am appalled. Nobody should allow her to do anything concerning elections with her history. And they have very good cause for concern because Hampton's actions are being investigated by the Georgia Bureau of Investigations. And in a deposition, Hampton was asked if she informed anyone at the Secretary of State's office before she allowed Logan and the others to access the voting equipment. Hampton replied, quote, I did not. She was then asked, and why did you not let the Secretary of State's office know? And Hampton refused to answer that question. She pleaded the fifth to avoid self-incrimination. So that pretty much tells you everything you need to know. I don't know anything more at this time, what is suspected or why they, they seized that server. Um, it could just be out of an abundance of caution, but we will see. And as I mentioned yesterday in that report on Logan, all of the Georgia election equipment is identical. Like once you get into one server, once you have access to one machine, basically you have access to all of them through back doors. You can create viruses and malware and all kinds of stuff to mess with future elections. So that's what these people opened up. So when I hear more, I will let you know. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you all. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.